Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the Bo Peep bonnet. Um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to do a e-wrap cast on and you'll need to do a knit back and that's how you get started okay okay after you do your initial e-wrap cast on and knit your way back what you're going to do is you're going to always slip this first stitch always pull this down some you're always going to slip this first stitch okay and knit your way over and the reason being is you want this nice beautiful easy to see chain because you're going to need that when you go to do your weaving cast on all right so you're going to knit all the way over until just before the last peg and this is a series of short rows so you're going to knit all the way over there's your last peg Okay, you're going to wrap and turn and start knitting your way back. And this is a process of short rows to create the poofy part of this bonnet. You're reaching the end. You're going to slip the first stitch and knit to just before the last wrap and turn. You're going to wrap and turn. And um, that's what you're doing is you're going in and you're going to repeat this process of knitting all the way over till just before your last wrap and turn. Wrap and turn and knit your way back. And you're going to do this all the way down to the first peg. And what I'll do is. <coughs> I will show you how I do the last four pegs of wraps and turns in the series because it may get a little funky there at the end as to what to do while you're slipping that first peg. Okay, so we're here just before that last wrap and turn. So you're going to wrap and turn and knit your way back. And you're going to keep repeating this process until you're down to the very beginning of your peg one over here. And so what you want to do is you'll want to pause the video and wrap and turn until you're down to the last four pegs. And I'll show you how to go about doing the last four pegs and finishing up a section like this because you're going to end up doing a total of six sections. Okay. go ahead and pause the video and wrap and turn your way down to the last four pegs and I'll show you how to do that and then we'll go from there and then knit two together all right and then what you want to do is slip that first one and knit your way over. And you're going to do this sectioning a total of six times. And it's easy to count the sections if you forget which one you're on. Okay, so that finishes a section okay and as you can see I have finished two sections and you can see that easily enough there's your line one two okay so you'll go to do this um, total of six times and then you'll just bind off and then I'll show you how to add your um, your brim area with the um, ruffle yarn to make it a bonnet for Bo Peep. Just go ahead and pause the video and get the bulk of your hat done, which is this, and then we will go from there. <clears throat>
We've done our six sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to knit our way back one more time. And then we're going to bind off on our way back over. Okay. So we're going to knit our two together all the way across. And then we're going to do a regular bind off. And then I'll show you how to sew it up. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to do our bind off. And I'm going to slip that first one, knit the second one to get started. Take it back one, toss the bottom lip over, move it over one. Don't do this bind off tight, okay? You want to do it fairly loose. Knit the next one, take it back one, toss the bottom lip over, move it over one. And you want to do this all the way across. Just go ahead and pause the video and bind off. And then I will show you how to sew up this and then prep to do the brim of the hat. And you'll need to have your white yarn and your ruffle yarn ready to go. Let's go ahead and pause the video, get your bind off done, and then we'll go from there. Okay, you see your full six sections, okay? And what you want to do is you want to be able to sew from here up, from here up, okay? Because what we want to do is we want to gather those slip stitches that you did. You want to gather those so that you don't have a hole at the top of your hat. Now, um, I'm going to tie off my ends so I know where they're at. And I'm going to do this on the negative side. And um, I'm going to tie me a little slip knot to send through. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to, it's, you see there's a chain here. And then over here, you see these lines. So what you want to do is you want to find out where that first chain is, which looks like it's right there. And you want to make sure you find your first chain. And you also want to make sure you find your first... And there we go. And then what I do is send it through that slip. And tighten it okay now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the next chain and then you're going to go to the next you'll see these little lines you want to send it through a line because what that is is that's a stitch okay and then you take the next chain and you want to send it through there and there's your next line right there and you're going to send it through there. And you're going to do that all the way down to here. So go ahead and pause the video and get yourself that far. And when you do, I will show you the gather section so that you don't have a hole at the top of your hat. And then I will show you how to do the weave-in section so that um, you have the weave-in cast on and so you can get started with the uh, the brim. So go ahead and pause the video. Sew up to here and then we will show you, I'll show you how to go in and gather that up. Okay, we're at the actual middle of the hat and you'll see these little slip areas here. What you're going to do is you're going to send the needle through that one send the needle through the next one and then send the needle through the next one and send the needle through the next one and send the needle through the last one and draw string together there and now that is officially closed off as you can see here and yes, you'll see a seam. There's a technique I use, which I call the faux um, Kitchener bind off, and I've done that before. And uh, it hides it more, but it's just going to be kind of slouchy. So it's not really going to much matter. But go ahead and finish off your seam. And 
snip your end. Okay. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Okay, so here is your main part of your hat. All right. And if you've done this, you've probably seen the pinwheel technique, and that's kind of what this is, except we're going to go in, and it's going to be a poofy back, okay? And um, you'll see these chains here. And these chains are going to be really useful, all right? And what you'll need is you'll need a thin crochet hook, and you'll need white yarn, okay? And what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up weaving back in. You're going to send the crochet hook through these chains. So let me go get my crochet hook and we'll get started. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go over this a little differently than when I filmed it. And I realized I did a miscalculation. Every single peg needs to have three stitches put on it. So if the next little bit of the footage seems a little choppy, it's because I'm showing you how to add three stitches to it. But every single one should have three stitches to it. As you can see, there's three. So um, I'm just giving you forewarning on the next little bit that um, I initially said two and three. It needs to be three all the way around. Really simplifies it. I don't know how I miscalculated, but I did and it happens. Um, so make sure you have three stitches on every single one and I'll show you how to do that in the next little video clip. Okay, when reattaching the poof section back to the loom, normally we would do the positive side sitting up because when your inside of your loom is always your negative and the outside's positive, but we were working with ruffle yarn and I don't want to have to have go in and do a whole bunch of working in the negative. So what we're going to do is flip it. Okay. Positive side facing up. And what I like to do is start where this is right here. Okay. And I'm going to wrap that around. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my first chain. Okay. I'm going to find my first chain. I'm going to wrap, pull through. Alright, so my first one will have three, three. And then what you're going to do is you're going to send it through the chain, pull through, on the loom. Next chain, pull through, put on the loom, and the next chain, pull through, put on the loom. Now we're to the next peg, which will have three. So we're going to go one. Two, and three. Okay. So you're going to do this all the way around, adding in your chains, and then your poof section should be attached to the loom. And from that point, we will be picking up our ruffle yarn and we'll be doing a row of that. And then we'll be doing an interlace uh, lace stitch that I normally do. And then we'll add in another ruffle row and then we'll do um, like five um, rows of a seed stitch. Okay, so pause the video, get your weaving cast on, on and then we'll go from there. As you can see, here is your poof section of the hat. And you see that the right side's facing up. There's your negative side. And we've got three stitches on every single um on every single peg. 
and now we want to get it down to one stitch which is easy you're going to go in and you're going to take the white yarn and you're going to knit three together all the way around three together Okay, we've gotten all our stitches back down to one, and it's time for us to add our ruffle yarn. And I'm going to just put that in the little puff area. And what I want to do is I want to find my first stable area, which is going to be that one. Because that one's not going to be real stable. You could have it fall apart on you. So we're going to do that one, and we're going to put it on there. We're going to toss that bottom loop over. You're going to skip that one, move to the next one, put that on, toss the bottom loop over. Skip, grab the next one, put it on the peg, toss the bottom loop over. You're going to do that all the way around to this peg, and then we will go from there. So pause the video and get that much done, and then we'll go from there. Okay, <clears throat> we've added our first row. Now what we want to do is we want to knit two rows. So you want to go around and knit around for two rows, two rows, and then we will do a lace row and then go in and do another two rows. So go ahead and pause the video and complete the two rows and we'll be back. Okay, so we're going to do a lace section, so we're going to decrease to the right, yarn over, knit two together, decrease, yarn over, knit two together, and you're going to do this all the way around. So go ahead and pause the video and do your decrease and yarn over all the way around, and then I will show you the next row. Okay, we're to the next row. And what we want to do is we want to purl the yarn overs. And we want to knit. So we want to purl and knit all the way around. Purl, knit, purl, knit. And you want to do that all the way around. Pause the video, get that done, and then I'll show you the next two rows. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to do, pull that through, we're going to do two rows of knit, so you're just going to knit, all the way around for two rows. Pause the video and get that much done, and then we'll be ready to add our next ruffle, yet, ruffle row. Okay, we've done our two rows. Now we want to pick up our ruffle yarn, and we want to do another row. And because it's such a small area, we're only going to do count three up. So one, two, three. Place the third one on the peg. Toss the bottom loop over. Skip. Add and do just like we did with the first ruffle row. Skip and add, skip and add, and just toss the bottom loop over. So go ahead and do your ruffle row, and then we'll be doing five rows of a seed stitch. Okay, we've added our last ruffle row, and now what we want to do is we want to knit one, Purl one all the way around. Knit one. Purl one all the way around. Let's go ahead and pause the video and do this row, and then I'll show you the alternate row, and then you just do that. 
as my repeat and we're almost done okay the next row of this patterning for the seed stitch is to purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one all the way around and then you're going to repeat these last two rows one more time and then you're going to bind off okay and I would suggest some modi modified bind off that Luma Hat does and instead of e-wrapping I usually knit it um, so go ahead and pause the video complete this row of purl one knit one and then go back and do knit one purl one and then purl one knit one and then bind off okay okay I had finished my seed stitch and did my modified bind off and what I did was I took my lace area here and I wove in and out elastic and this pattern does need elastic so I wove in and out elastic and the funny thing is I wouldn't have said this would have fit my head without the elastic but it did and um, but it's still with the elastic it fits my daughter really well so I would say that this is kind of a one-size-fits-all pattern um, so if you didn't want to translate it you don't have to to another loom but you will need to add elastic to the area where you weave it in and out and I would start on the back side here when you start your weaving so that you can tie off the elastic in the same place you have all these um, knots and stuff here from your connections and stuff and so that's how you finish up the bonnet you're going to weave in and out of these holes and tie it on the back side which is where that seam is and you're done that's how you make a bow peep bonnet